Hello and welcome once again to exploring my Steam library. Today we are taking a look at Slime Rancher. Now at Slime Rancher I've not played for about two years. It has been getting updates uh, constantly since I last played. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect. I do know obviously the base game. Uh, you go around collecting these kind of cute and adorable slimes um, to sell their, um, how I'm trying to think, they sort of drop plorts, which is the thing that you sell uh, when you feed them, take from that what you will, what it is, um, but you sell that and it's worth quite a bit of money and depending on the slime it's worth more money and yeah, but we're going to start a new game, um, oh, you get to choose your icon. We'll go with the, the kitty cat slime. Um, we'll stay on adventure, we'll just leave it as game one uh, and go. So, the sort of story part of the game, there is a story to it. Um, we're a thousand light years from Earth on a planet known as the Far Far Range. Um, Beatrix Le. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, begins her life. Uh, her first day as a slime rancher. So, as you can see, oh my god, there's a lot more than there used to be. Uh, <laughs> this is the plorts. Um, so, different plorts are worth different amounts of money, and the price does change. So, it's not like these will always be worth 66 gold. Um, yeah, oh my god, there's so many more than there used to be. Um... The farm looks different as well. Wow. Uh, but here's a pink slime. And with this gun you can suck up up to four different things. Uh, and then depending on what number you've got selected, you can fire them. <laughs> oh, that poor, poor pink slime. Um, no, you are not eating the chicken. Get in there. So slimes can go through this barrier, we can, oh, I say slime, we can walk through the barrier, but the slimes can't just jump through. So that slime is sort of now penned in and stuck there. Oh. Oh, there he is. I feel so bad for him now. Uh, right, you can have a carrot. There you go. And as you can see, he dropped this little pink diamond. And now, we're going to go and sell that. Ah, oh, I missed. Got it. Okay. So, as you can see, our money went up instantly. So, it's not like you have to wait several days or anything like that. Ooh, more carrots. You. Now, there are quite a few areas to your farm. Um... Most of which you have to sort of unlock, so yeah, to unlock this we need to pay 1795 coins. Uh, and each expansion to the farm gives you sort of access to different things. Now, let's go exploring. So this is into sort of the wild area. Um, where, oh my god, lots of slimes are, and, ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to read this, but I will leave it up for a second, so if you guys want to read it, you can. There we go. There are a lot of slimes there. Right. All of you, be absorbed. Not because I want all the slimes, but because they dropped quite a few plots, which I can then grab. And we'll fire all these guys off over the edge. Lots of carrots. Want carrots. So there's lots of different veg and things like that that grow. And different um, 
slime have like different favorite foods so depending on sort of what slime it is they like eating different things and if you feed them what they enjoy eating then you end up getting sort of more out of them than if you just fed them any other food that they eat some slimes are also you know meat eaters or vegetarian and they won't eat anything of you know the type of thing that they won't eat so if you try and feed a vegetarian slime uh, meat, they just won't eat it. Okay. Ooh, kitty cat slime. Now, one thing that you will find is uh, slime of different types like eating plorts uh, from a different type of slime. So this kitty cat slime, oh, there we go, without having to do it. A pink slime or a kitty cat slime et a plort from another slime. So this is a large slime version. Oh dear, no, no, didn't want to fire all the plorts out. Thank you. Oh, it's a tabby slime, not a kitty cat. But yeah, so this guy is a Largo. Now, Largo are hybrids, um, and you can get a hybrid of pretty much anything. Um, like, all of the different slimes can be combined. So, and a Largo is good because a Largo, when fed, will drop a plot of both types. So, for the kitty cat slime, it will drop a kitty cat, or a tabby slime, it will drop a tabby slime plort and a pink plort, which is kind of awesome. The only problem comes from, sort of, some slimes are more aggressive, some slimes have, as I say, certain tastes, and things like that. So, sometimes a slime isn't a good thing to sort of mix. But there we go, we now have a Largo Tabby Slime. And uh, here's some food, guys, so... But there we go, look, we got a plort of both types. So we've got a Tabby Plort and a Pink Plort. Now we can sell these and make a bit of cash. Now, you can also upgrade the pens. Uh, so, for example, I could add an auto feeder, a port collector. So, this will collect plorts automatically for me. Uh, it won't sell them, but, you know, I have to do something myself. Uh, the auto feeder, same thing. I'll put food in there and it will automatically feed the uh, slimes when they're hungry. Uh, a solar shield. Solar shields are useful for particular slimes. Uh, particular slimes can't live in the light. So without a solar shield, they'll die. Air net, so that if a slime can jump really high or something like that, it's less likely to escape. Um, tabby slimes are very sort of high jumpers. High walls, so that you, again, that I'm going to purchase straight away. So the wall is just sort of double the height, so it's less likely that the slimes are going to manage to jump out. But, yeah. The other thing you can do is, if we go to a brand new area, you can choose whether to make a corral, a garden, a coop, a silo, an incubator, a pond. Um, oh, sorry, not an incubator, an incinerator. So an incinerator just destroys whatever touches it, you know, it's just a bin, basically. A pond is for, um, certain slimes like to sort of just live in water, and also sometimes you'll need water for certain other things. So a pond is just a water source. Silo is your basic storage unit. Um, it starts out with sort of one storage slot, and you can upgrade it, I think, to have four storage slots in total. A coop is somewhere that you can grow chickens. Um, a garden, grow vegetables, and a corral, obviously, for the slimes. So I want a... Do I not? Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, damn it. 
Okay, well, we're going back out and we're looking for plots. Run! Now, there is a time cycle to the days, and so, uh... There is sort of a day-night cycle in the main world. And certain slimes won't come out in the day, so they'll only come out at night. Uh, same for sort of in the day, certain slimes will only come out during the day. Okay. Let's go that way. Ooh. Um, another breed of Largo. Uh, that is sort of that little rock slime uh, mixed with a pink slime. Give me all the plots without the danger. Now, rock slime do try and attack you. They are a bit aggressive. And the Largo can deal quite a bit of damage to you because they are so much bigger. Could have thought it, eh? Bigger thing hurts you more. There's even more tabby slime here, okay. Ooh. We've just unlocked the map of this area. This wasn't in the game the last time I played. I didn't have a map. Nice. Pink slime, go away. Now, one problem with Largo is you can only have, uh, or if you have a Largo that eats a another plot of another slime that it isn't sort of a, a mix of. So, for example, if a uh, tabby slime eats a pink plot, you end up with. Um, sort of one that we've already got. If that then eats a plot of a rock slime, you end up with a black slime. Black slimes give no useful benefit to you. They just attack you and try and eat you. Which isn't good. Uh, the only way to kill them is to spray them with water. So that's why water is useful. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no wait. Come here, go away. And again, I'll leave that up for you guys if you want to read it. Now, these signs here show you where sort of evil slimes will start appearing. These slimes will just try and attack you. You can feed them to sort of make them leave you alone for a short while. But on the whole, they will just try and hurt you. Your dinner to them. So, uh, yeah, best to sort of either sprint through those areas or, you know, do something like that. Okay. I've got all the carrots and plorts I can carry. Let's go back. Sell all this and hopefully... This is something else. Uh, this is an exchanger. So occasionally people will ask for certain things and give you something in return if you, you know, give them it. So for example, they might want 20, plink, uh, 20 pink plots and they will give you, you know, 20 chickens in exchange. Things like that. Right. There we go. We made money. Now. Slimepedia. Oh, okay, this is just... <laughs> That's... I don't think it's new, but I don't think it was there before. Um, it just tells you about all the different areas and, you know, the different slimes and the resources and so on and so forth. And then we also have our home. So in here you can read your mail. Um, you do get mail occasionally, and it does show up in the corner there. Um, 
And you can also sleep until morning. So we're going to do that. And then go back to the ranch. Now, as it's morning, these guys will probably be hungry. Although, actually, no, they probably won't be, because... I already have food in here. Let's turn you into a tabby slime. May as well. Put some more carrots in there. Also put a chicken in there. Oh, oh damn you. Alright, you know what? You can go in there too. Uh, now you can upgrade this um, sort of gun. Uh, oh, the vacuum pack, that's what it is. Uh, so you can have um, a water tank specifically for water. So, you know, that helps when you end up coming up against black slimes. Um, Jetpack, so that you can sort of jump higher and things like that. Heart module, obviously. Power core, so that you can sort of hover with the jetpack and run for longer. And tank booster, so that you can have... Uh, sort of more slots. So at the moment we're limited to 20. I think with that we go to 40. Not sure if there's an upgrade beyond that. Again, it's been a while. Let's... Oh, while I've got the cash this time, let's start a garden. And I want to grow some carrots, please. So eventually, a load of carrots... Ah, oh, look, there they are. They're starting to grow. They do grow remarkably quick. Uh, by the end of the day, we might actually get a harvest out of it. Now, now I've obviously chosen to have a garden, there's more upgrades. So you can have nutrient soil, sprinklers, um, a scare slime to stop slimes eating your crops. You can also remove the crops and demolish the plot, which we're not going to do. Give me all of the food. Oh, okay. We've maxed out on the amount of food that we can have at that time. Right, as there's food over there, go and eat it, slides. There you go, look. There's, there's food, eat it. That's right. Eat it and drop plots for me. Okay, I will go sell what we've got. So the early game is sort of just grinding up some cash to build sort of necessities on your farm. More late game, you get into sort of breeding particular slimes. Um, obviously, as you can see from the map, it's not a small map. And different slimes live in different areas. So, you know, here's our farm. Going along here... Uh, how is this map actually orientated? Okay, there's our farm building, is it? No, that's our farm building. Yeah, that's our farm building. Going along here is mostly just pink slimes rock slimes and tabbies but getting into new areas you get explosive slimes radioactive slimes um water slimes so many different varieties and types so yeah it's a fun game <laughs> i should play it more often um it's just every now and then i sort of go oh, okay i've done everything there is to do wait for an update um and while doing that, I ended up just sort of forgetting about it for a while. Which is why it's sat there for sort of almost two years without me playing it. But uh, that, I think, is where we're going to leave off, guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that you can check out uh, Group 4038 if you go to Steam. And if you want to help support the channel, then please check out my Patreon link. But... Uh, that's all from me, so I will catch you next time.